Hey nerds, it's Anna McHugh. I'm uh, out on a beautiful Monday morning in Raleigh, North Carolina, looking at mushrooms as I am wont to do. And uh, I have found um, a baby Lepidella mushroom. So Lepidella is a large group of mushroom species uh, in the Amanita genus. An Amanita genus in and of itself is a very large uh, collection of species. We have some edible ones, also extremely toxic Amanitas. Uh, so Amanita phylloides, the death cap mushroom, and uh, Amanita bisporigera and others, uh, known as destroying angels, gives you kind of a good idea of how we characterize uh, the, you know, not so good members of the genus. Um, so Lepidella, again, is a uh, group of mushrooms in the Amanita genus that is pretty recognizable. I'm not sure exactly which species this is. Uh, it resembles very closely Amanita dausipes, um, and uh, which doesn't have a common name, at least not to my knowledge. But anyway, uh, dausipes is, is characterized as having sort of a ham-like aroma. Uh, this, on the other hand, has a very, very strong um, chlorine smell. And so a lot of your Lepidella species have this, you know, uh, delightful sort of peed-in pool uh, smell, which is very distinctive. So not all of them have it. Um, and, uh, you know, given what this smells like, I'm pretty confident it's actually not Amanita dausipes. But, uh, you know, again, knowing your Lepidellas kind of gives you a wide uh, array of species that you can recognize. And if you're interested in collecting mushrooms to eat, uh, Lepidella is one of those areas you want to avoid. Uh, so uh, identification wise, Lepidella also is really interesting because Amanitas oftentimes have like a, a cup at the base or a, so a sack or a sock of tissue. Uh, but, uh, and that's called a universal veil remnant. So, you know, you have a lot of different Amanitas that have that feature, but, um, you know, those uh, universal veil remnants take very different forms. And in the case of Amanitas in the Lepidella group, uh, you don't have a cup, you have a bulb. And so, you know, these are baby mushrooms. They will get very large, uh, cap and stem, but they will always have this, you know, big, fat, hefty bulb at the base. You open it up also and you don't see uh, anything other than, you know, uh, white flesh. This is also uh, a good mushroom to be aware of because puffball mushrooms are a very popular uh, group of edible uh, mushrooms that are also sort of like a, a lump of fungus that's very white on the inside. So if you're looking at uh, a so-called puffball and you see anything that looks like uh, a cap on the top, you want to be careful. With other Amanitas also, they don't have this continuous white on the inside. So a lot of times you'll actually see the outline of a baby mushroom in this uh, you know, lower uh, interior of um, whatever it is that you found. But Lepidella doesn't have that, so it's uh, very important to be aware. Uh, the cap itself is really teeny right now. It's about the size of uh, maybe a nickel. It has warts on it, and you can also see one of the things that's really distinctive here is you have the bulb, but then you have sort of a collar of cracking around uh, the top here, and that's where uh, the baby mushroom starts to emerge from this bulb. Uh, so, you know, overall, uh, Lepidellas are not considered edible. Um, a lot of them in books are described as uh, no one's even tried to eat them before. Uh, I've heard that there are Lepidellas that are eaten in other parts of the world, but North America-wise, uh, definitely not considered uh, an edible group of species. And, uh, you know, in the case of a lot of them, like this one, smells like chlorine, uh, I wouldn't be interested in eating it anyway. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of important to know them. Um, and they're very, very common. And I think uh, the thing that I really like about them, and maybe I'll find another specimen uh, to film, is that they get very large. And so if you see out in the woods sort of a creamy white mushroom that's just ginormous and has big fat warts on the top, uh, you're probably looking at a Lepidella. If you approach it and you see this, you know, bulb at the base, then you're uh, almost certainly in Lepidella territory and should record a picture and publish it, uh, but not eat it. And so I guess that's all I really have to say about, uh, you know, these uh, Lepidellas. I do advise that you not leave them in your car overnight. Uh, I did that once and it was really a horrific experience. The following day, it really was like my entire car was permeated with uh, like 
really bad public pool smell. So uh, you want to be aware. On the subject of uh, smells and edibility, I just want to add a quick note. So a lot of times on different mushroom forums, someone will post a picture and say, hey, can I get an identification? And whoever's around who happens to know what it is will weigh in. And then the follow-up question is, is it edible? Now there's nothing wrong with this question about edibility. A lot of people are interested in edible mushrooms. However, I think it's incumbent upon uh, people who are trying to get identifications to smell the mushroom that they are asking about. So in the case of Lepidella, I have been asked if they're edible when they are in this like really revolting chlorine, uh, you know, chlorine smelling space. Uh, so, you know, I, I just think it's important that like before you ask for mushroom identification, you go through um, more than just its visual appearance. And that's all I'm getting at here. So you want to smell the mushroom. You want to, uh, in some cases, uh, you know, taste a little bit of it and spit it out. Uh, that's not necessary for the vast majority of mushrooms, but it is a safe practice. Um, of course, you know, taking the mushroom apart can teach you a lot. Obviously, you want to get pictures before you get to that point. Um, but, you know, when you're asking about edibility, uh, just smell it before you ask. Because if it smells like something that would make you barf, the odds are either it would make you barf or something worse. Um, so, yeah, that's Lepidella. That's my uh, little rant about edibility. And I hope you all have a great deal of luck in your own mushroom adventures.